Hello and welcome back to the No Flipping Excuses channel. My name is Michael Bredhauer and I am joined by our good friend and business partner, Jason Palliser. Jason, how you doing? I'm doing great. Excited to drop some good knowledge here this morning. Absolutely. We're glad to have you back in the studio because as many of you have been aware, you've been watching our channel. You should have been. If you've not, make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe right now because Jason, you've dropped... I don't know how many videos in the past, just a few weeks even. Um, we're 60 videos deep. So we're going to be systematically dropping new videos on the channel. So um, as a CEO of your real estate investment business, whether you're new or you've been doing it for years, just subscribe so that you get them. And we're going to simply walk you through video after video, different things that you can do to grow the business predictably. Yep. Um, so yeah, so absolutely subscribe. One of the best things that you could do is uh, do that. And like you said, drop some comments. Uh, if you have questions, we'll answer them. Um, so just simply, if you have a question, just drop a comment in there, right? That's a good point. Drop a comment because today's video comes directly from the comment section. And today's topic is going to be how to find good deals that can be flipped quickly. So several of you, several of you have asked in the comments, Hey, I'm getting started. I'm still kind of new. I love your channel. I appreciate it. How do I find my first good deal that can be flipped quickly? And Jason, you, you got all tingly once you saw that one, didn't you? Yeah, because everybody likes to make this way too hard. So what we want to do is we just want to dive into what are some different things that you can do lead source wise. Okay. So what, what, what are some different things that you can do immediately uh, from a generating a lead that can be closed, locked up and closed where you can help a homeowner and, and start stacking this daily regiment to get to where you want to be. So let's just kind of dive straight into it. So one of the first things you, you can do, and I always tell people, I'm like, Hey, why don't, don't make this hard. Like we hear all the time, especially if you're just getting started, uh, you know, pay attention if this sounds remotely familiar to you. Well, you know, I was told to get this list or that list, and then I'm supposed to cold call and I got to skip trace, but now I got to call through 10 different phone numbers to find out if I have the right phone number and just keep doing it and hit them up seven times and you might get a deal. If that sounds like a world-class death march, then pay attention to what we're about to talk about now. So the first thing jumping right in for yourselves is this, um, uh, again, let, let, let's do things that are easy uh, for sale by owners. Now, at, a, at first, you know, that's blessing your ears right now. You may think, well, well, Jason, you know, they're, they're probably trying to get retail. Well, here's what I know. Okay. So we're talking about, cause we attack cities with 34 different lead funnels uh, for sale by owners is one of them. So I just wanted to infuse into your new daily plan that you're going to do why that might be a good idea. One, for sale by owners, you, you know each time you reach out to one of them that 100% of the time they want to sell. Okay, so 100% of the time they want to sell. They've raised their hand to the universe and said, hey, I don't want to deal with the realtor and I want to sell my property. So from a talking to a lead standpoint that could end up being a deal for you, isn't that a smart move? Um, so what I always tell people is adopt a policy you know, create policies for you and how you operate in the business that you're growing. Okay. Your business is mantra, uh, meaning everybody should know this is who you are and this is what your, your company does. Your company should be known for giving an offer to everybody that's a for sale by owner. If you just adopted that policy in almost any market that you're in in America, that's easily 400 offers a year. And, and what I mean by that is that you're going to reach out to for sale by owner have a conversation with them and make them an offer. They don't have to like your offer, right? Um, Cause some of them won't. Uh, we always say some will, some won't, who cares? There'll be some that are, that are interested in talking to you a little bit deeper, a little bit more. And some of them, well, you know, I'm trying to get retail, no harm, no foul, but right out of the gate, one thing that I can teach you and tell you to do is talk to for sale by owner. Here's typically what we do. And I want to really break this down for you as well. Uh, we talk to them. We simply say, hey, would you be interested to cash offer? The answer is always yes. I like going into, you know, the, the negotiations battle with a property owner, knowing the answers to the test ahead of time. Okay. I want to know what the, the uh, other side, the opposition is going to say or do. So I ask easy questions that I know that I'm going to get the right answer to. Would you like a cash offer? Um, sure. Of course I would. 
So, so Mike, I, I tell like, I like talking to a homeowner and saying, Hey, would you like, I, I want to get them to say yes. Cause the more they say yes, the more they're probably going to work with me. Is right. That- right. It does. As we're talking about homeowners, one of the questions we get yeah. is, you know, I'm, I'm a little concerned. What if they don't like my offer? What if I don't know what to say as far as the numbers? I'm not really good at putting the numbers together. I'm brand new. What if I come in too low and they get upset at me? We get a lot of folks that get concerned about that. What would yeah. you say to that? Yeah. So here's what I would say to that. Uh, you need to get you need to get comfortable with the uncomfortable. Um, the fastest way to be you doing this full time and getting more contracts than you think you can get uh, is getting comfortable with the uncomfortable from this standpoint. Start making offers that make sense to you, and I would make low offers. Uh, I I even posted it uh, on my uh, Facebook a while back. Uh, Richard Branson, uh, he got his island, uh, I think it's Necker Island or something like that. Yeah, I remember. Uh, I remember hearing that. Yeah, so he got that island. They they wanted. He was trying to impress a girl, which is funny to me, <laughs> and. Um, so he's like, yeah, I'm going to make an offer on this island. And they wanted $6 million or something like that for it. And he knew that he did at the time, he knew he didn't have the money. He offered hundred grand. Hope you, hope you hear that and uh, hope you file that away. That's, a, that's about as low of an offer as you can get, folks. He, he literally offered hundred grand, even though they wanted $6 million for an island. And negotiations later, I think, don't quote me on this part, but I think he ended up getting it for right at two hundred grand. They just wanted out. And you don't know what a seller is going to say. You can go into talking to, so think about this. How do you, how do you potentially get a deal quickly that you can profit from uh, as somebody starting out? And cause now I want to pull back. I want to pull back the layers, peel, peel back the layers of the onion for you. Uh, one, now you're going after a lead source that you know, 100% of the time wants to sell because they raise their hand to sell. That's smart. Cause you're talking to people that are more motivated. Okay. Uh, two, Hey, while you're learning, stop for a second and get the book, the art of flipping deals. Here's how easy it is. Just go to the website, the And what you're going to have is an instant download on how we flip deal after deal after deal with predictability that others can't find. Make a low offer. All they can say is no. Okay. So the other thing that I want you to understand is all they could say is no. And then you can just negotiate from there. Three, start them off with a question. You know, they're going to say yes to. Meaning, hey, would you, uh, we typically pay cash. Would you accept a cash offer? Well, yeah. Okay, well, cool. Tell me more about the house and then go straight into it. Uh, the other thing is, is that they're, they're, they're trying to strike a deal. They want to sell and they're, and they're not using a realtor to try and save money. There could be multiple other reasons they're not using a realtor. They don't want to disclose something. It needs a little bit of work. So when we track these things, we know and understand that, uh, hey, uh, these are leads where somebody wants to sell. I don't have to go on the flip side of things and go buy a vacant list and, and reach out to a thousand people, get 50 of them and 48 of them say, lose my phone number. How did you get me? Okay. So there's tons of net benefits for playing in this sandbox that most investors don't play. And the fourth thing is, is that most investors don't play in the for sale by owners sandbox. And we're just, again, this video is centered around, how do we get you started fast and talking to homeowners and make offers? So they want an offer from you. They're trying to sell 100% of the time. Here's the other fun part. Uh, they've raised their hand, meaning I don't have to skip trace. Saves me money, doesn't it? I don't have to skip trace. They've raised their hand and say, hey, reach out to me. Uh, I'm trying to sell my house. So I don't have to skip trace. I know I have the right freaking phone number. Start to let that sink in. Well, everybody's running around scrambling, getting this list, scrubbing this list. Man, I called 10 phone numbers and and uh, nine of the 10 and this one, I think it's it, but I'm still not sure because they won't respond to me. I don't have to live in that world when I adopt this policy to go after um, deals in the marketplace. And and one of the ways that we do it is a for sale by owner. Is that, yeah. is that starting to kind of put the pieces in place for people, you think? It does. And, and what if we did... A little exercise, Jason, just a short little exercise to show people how simple it can be talking to a homeowner, because I know this is the fear that comes across a lot of the newbies that come on. So yeah. I want you to be, I want, Jason's going to be a homeowner here, or Jason's going to be the investor here. I want to be the for sale by owner. He's calling me up and he's going to make his low ball offer that you're all afraid to give. Yeah. And I'm going to be the homeowner. I'm going to react and he's going to very quickly 
kind of seller waltz me out of it. Yeah, and Mike can do or say whatever he wants. I, like, I don't even know what he's going to do. So See? completely spontaneous. Yeah, I didn't even know he's going to ask me to do that. So here we go. This will be fun. So... So, Mr. Smith, look, I, I, I see your property online. I know you're looking to sell. I love the area. And so I would love to see the property, and I would love to talk some numbers with you. And would you be open to a cash offer on the property? What's your offer? Um, well, first, can I ask you a few questions? Um, like, tell me about the house. Like, is it ready to go? Is it perfect? Does it need anything? Does it have a fence in the backyard? Does any, any roof work, anything on the inside? Could you tell me a little bit more about that? Because we typically pay cash just so you know, Mr. Smith. And, um, once we, once we sign a contract with you, we can close in 30 days or less, but I'd like to start by just understanding, is there anything that needs to be done with the house? Do you even still live there? I do still live there. Uh, it needs some work, uh, needs a new roof, um, needs some updating, needs paint, carpet. Okay. And um, so I see that you're trying to get 200 for it. So we do we do a lot of renovations in the area without seeing it yet. I'd probably be somewhere in the ballpark of 140. Uh, I don't know if that's something that you could work with. And again, I'm not scared about any of the work that needs to be done to it. So a little roof work or anything else, that's, that's not a problem for me. But I just... Uh, and I don't have unlimited funds, but I love the area and I would love to be a solution for you so that you don't have to show the house anymore and, and be done with it and not lift a finger. Is that something that you'd be interested in? And here's where I'm going to throw them the thing that you're all afraid of. Go F yourself. <laughs> go screw myself. Yeah, go screw yourself. I don't like your, <laughs> no, I don't like it. Okay. Well here, so, so hear me out. Uh, okay. You want me to go F off. I, yeah. Well, look, I promise you at 4:30 today, I'll go F off. I'm even putting it on my calendar. But Mr. Smith, I need, I need to set an appointment to see the house. I'm really interested in working with you without seeing it yet. <laughs> I, well, it, I would literally go back to my office and then be like, Hey, uh, Jason, you're fired. If I said, Hey, you know what? Maybe I can come up to 175 cash and without using realtors saves money and you're closer to where you need to be. But then I get there and there's a ton of work. My, my office would be like, well, uh, Jason, did, did you not run numbers? Are, are you insane? Right. And um, so, so Mr. Smith, if I could see it, I might be able to come up on the number, but I would just love the opportunity to see it and see what work really needs to be done. I can run some numbers and maybe I could come up a little bit. And, uh, but I can't do that unless I, unless I can see the house and take some pictures. And then I promise you, as soon as I do that, I will have you a bona fide offer based upon what I see in 24 hours. So I would love to see it. Again, we love the area. And by the way, Mr. Smith, we don't buy every house. We do try and help every homeowner that we talk to. So if and when I see it, just to show you how committed I am to helping you, if and when I see it and we can't come to terms or whatever, which I will do my best um, to get you as much as we can, uh, we just appreciate the fact that you're not using a realtor to save money. And so we'll even help you market the home for free uh, if we don't come to a contract with you just to try and help you out. But I would love to start by just setting a time to see it. Okay. It doesn't sound like you're one of those flippers out there. No, uh, -uh. We, uh, we, we do several things. Sometimes we will fix a house and flip it. So I can tell you that sometimes we do that. Sometimes we'll get the property and based upon the area, we will fix it up. Like you said, there's a little bit of fix up and then we will rent it out. Sometimes we work with different organizations. I don't know if you're familiar with Catholic Charities, stuff like that. Um, they help out families that are in their church to get them in at a, at a discount. So we'll also help in that manner as well. So we'll, we'll rent out a property and sometimes we'll do it at a discount working with Catholic Charities and stuff like that. So there's a multitude of things that we do. Our, our goal is to improve the area that we love one house at a time. So I would really love to see it and see what I can do to help you. Okay. Well, I'll be uh, available next Tuesday. That doesn't work for me. I need another money. I'm, I'm just joking. Just joking. Um, but folks, so that's just a conversation. I didn't care. I, I make a low offer. It doesn't matter. You know why? I just told you. Think about this. Hopefully you filed away in your brain. And when I say it this way, you put the two together and forever you're like, hmm. Yeah, that, that was a good way to give us a soft landing, Jason. Some will, someone who cares. I don't care if he gets mad or upset. I'm making a low offer and then I'll say, hey, I might be able to come up. So I make a low offer to see where they're at because I might get it, right? That's one. Two, if I adopt the policy that every every for sale by owner in town in a calendar year gets an offer from me, that's one of 
399 more offers that I'm going to make. Some will, some won't, who cares? I'm going to practice that. I'm going to make offers to everybody and some are going to take me up on that offer. If I make 400 offers and I make low offers that make sense to me, here's what I know on the back end. If I make low offers, it makes sense to me. I'm going to get five or 10 of those. And then I'm going to turn around and put it under contract, put a 15 day inspection window, have other investors in the marketplace, take a peek at it over that 15 day window. And I'll sell it for an extra 20 to $25,000. And if I just make an offer to every for sale by owner that pops up, I know I'm talking to somebody that wants to sell. I know I didn't have to skip trace. I know I have the right phone number. Uh, I'm not scared to make a low offer. And then you heard me, and I didn't even know he was going to ask me to do that. You heard me moonwalk out of it. And then all of a sudden, I'm working with people. Some of them, I'll market their home for free. You know what happens when I market their home for free? I'll just throw it on Craigslist or another spot and say, hey, I threw it out there for you. Um, if anybody's interested, I'll let you know. Now, when I follow up with them every week or two weeks, they answer my call. Because I might be calling them with somebody who's interested in their property. And I'll say, hey, I'm going to refresh your ad. I don't have anybody yet, but just want to let you know, I'll refresh your ad, just following up with you, just to let you know. Now I have a relationship with them. When they get frustrated because it hasn't sold, and maybe they start to become more realistic, and I'm the one that helped them market their home for free, and was very polite as as the back and forth went, I'm going to end up getting that deal, folks. You get that, right? So when everybody's complaining about this, that, paying money for skip tracing, but I'll just simply go online with coffee in hand find all the for sale by owners and make offer after offer after offer after offer, just like that. Does that make sense? That makes perfect sense, Jace. And for everybody that's listening right now, now you know where you can find good leads at basically no cost and how to dance around it. There's no nothing wrong with having a few conversations. Like you say, some will, some won't, who cares? And and if you enjoyed that, whoop, <laughs> my chair went down. If you enjoyed that... <laughs> See, my offer's getting lower and lower and lower, See, folks. he lowered my offer. See, the, he's, he, the seller already came down on press. You just saw it live. Just right there. <laughs> yeah, see how it works. It's magic, folks. Make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe because we are going to be dropping more bombs like this. And the comments are very important. This video, yep, directly out of a comment, directly out of Jason Palliser's you know, ambition to be like, Ooh, that one gave me this, they gave me this, uh, the chills. Yeah. Yeah. So we took feedback from other videos, right? We yep. took feedback from other videos and said, Hey, we're going to shoot this video and say, Hey, how do you get started? And uh, right out of the gate, be making offers. Don't be scared to make a low offer and play in a lead flow sandbox where 100% of the time the sellers want to sell. It just makes sense from an efficiency standpoint, folks. So uh, like you said, subscribe to the channel. We got more good stuff coming. Uh, we're already editing another 40 or 50, 60 videos that are going to be dropped. And uh, we'll see you soon. Three, two, one. Hey, book your free strategy session call today by going to todaycall.com. Dot com. That's the number two day call.com. We would love to talk to you about how we're tapping into 34 plus lead generation off market strategies in your market. Most of them too are free. Let's talk about it. Let's see how we can help you and your business thrive right now. Head on over to two day call.com. Talk to you later. Bye.